run through the fields of wheat? <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's real. Boris Johnson maybe said, my chances of becoming prime minister are about as good as the chances of finding Elvis on Mars. That seems real. Yeah, is it real? Ah! Oh, bam! That is true. <laughs> Theresa May maybe said, I mean, you know, there are times when, I have to confess, <clears throat> when me and my friend, well, we sort of we used to run through the fields of wheat. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's real. Wheat fields is true. <gasps> oh, she ran through wheat fields? <laughs> God bless her. Run through fields of wheat? I think... I wish I, that was the least thing I I've ever done. I need to... Oh my God, I love that. Donald Trump maybe said, I respect knowledge of the psyche. I would be a therapist if I weren't an entertainer. Trump. No. That's fake. <gasps> ah, chicken of the sea. It's too smart to be. I know, anything that's not like blah, 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 wall is fake. Uh, real? I bet he said that. Oh, no way. No. Man, Barack, Barack Obama. Obama. Some folks look at me and see a certain swagger, which in Texas is called walking. No. That's fake. That's not real. No. I knew that was George W. Bush. Oh, we're, yeah, that sounds right. We're doing okay. We're at 100%. Uh, we're kind of awesome. Vladimir Putin said, I only need one pencil to kill you, but two is more fun. Please tell me that's true. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's terrifying. Oh, my God. <laughs> Great. Very helpful. <laughs> What she said to me in my ear was, I think it could be or it couldn't be. So basically the concept of the game. Um, I think it's fake. I think it's fake. It's real, I said it was real. Oh, I God. remember what that's I was scary. No, I'm glad we got that wrong. I don't want to believe that that's I was pretty in your ear, it could be real. Donald, you know who, on his MAGA hat. It was something about when I put this hat on that made me feel like Superman. You made a Superman. That's my favorite superhero. You made a Superman cake. That has to be true. That's true. That's not it? a real sentence, so it has to be true. Yeah. Yeah, that's real. That's real as hell. Oh, oh God, oh, even worse. Go. That's it. That's all. <laughs> There's actually a scene, uh, this is different than what I've, I, I, that usually comes to mind. This is the one that I, I'm thinking of right now. Uh, there's a scene in the fifth episode, uh, which I won't give too much away, but it's the episode where the actual election takes place. And um, Zoe's character, we're at a very public forum, we're at an assembly, and Zoe's character comes barging into that assembly, screaming on a megaphone certain things about my character. Um, and just the absurdity of the moment watching that happen really tickled, tickled my funny bone. I lost my voice doing that because I was so loud and aggressive. It was worth it. Being all together? Yeah, it's a group of really funny people, so we were able to make each other laugh a lot. Mm -hmm. It's really fun. Yeah, even in the kind of, I mean, when Ben was doing his song and all the jokes and lyrics that came out of that. Mm -hmm. um, we were doing a scene with Jessica where she uh, is explaining a very simple meal she's prepared um, for the evening, which is a uh, bologna cups, bologna cups. With cheese. And she's all she did, it was all she said was the ingredients that are in bologna cups, which are Velveeta cheese and bologna. My character was like very, you know, <clears throat> uppity and titles and he goes, um, are these gluten free? And she's like, well, the outside, that's bologna. And the inside, it's Velveeta. And for some reason, and, and Ben is one of the most, I, I, I've never seen him break one, and two, I've never seen him actually not be able to control himself. Like he's a very contained, very controlled, very like respectful person. He could not keep I his shit together it. at all in a way that was so amazing. Every take, I mean, this is not like three takes. This is like 10 takes. I ruined it. It didn't make the show. Crying hysterically. <laughs> it was like, it, 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 so beautiful to watch. I think probably how close it is to being an actor. Like I think I found yeah. that uh, of, of at the end of the day, Peyton is just a really good actor. He's a really good sort of master of disguise. He knows how to manipulate a room or to, to turn into whoever he needs to turn into to get what he wants or to appear a certain way to someone. Um, and I think the nice thing about actors is that we use that uh, in the name of empathy and to get to connect to other people and then allow those who are watching to see into that person and to relate to people who they might think they wouldn't be able to relate to. Whereas politicians use that to forward their own gain and to sort of pu pu push themselves forward, which if they're an, a, you know, a well-meaning politician that wants to affect change, that's a great thing, but it also can be a very dangerous thing. The irony is not lost on us though that 
running a campaign to, for a show or a movie is about a show called oh. The Politician feels very, uh, it, it's... We are fully both being politicians 24-7 right, yeah. these days. Yeah. Otherwise we'd just be like... Yeah. I think just the weight of information and when you're making choices, you have to acknowledge that they're affecting real people and that can be very overwhelming. So, yeah, I really put into perspective for me what how hard it would be to be someone who's making decisions that actually affect real lives. I definitely would vote for him, particularly if he was running against the person that's currently in there, because I would vote for, I would say, probably like a grain of rice if it ran against the person that's in there right now, or any object or person or organism. Um, I think it dip, I think he could have a shot. I think he has a lot of figuring out still to do of who he is. If, if, we're, if we're taking him right after season one, he still has a lot of growing left to do. But I think he has the seeds of a really great politician. He just needs to work through some of his more egomaniacal tendencies if he's going to be healthy for the country. He's got some years of experience needed before he's running for president. Yeah, I don't know if I would vote for that yet. That <laughs> ruthlessness is somewhat terrifying. Nobody well, that bad. I'm trying to think of like really if there was any like uh, diva moment. Ah. Well, I mean Ryan makes a beautiful entrance. Ryan knows how to make an entrance, usually in like a fur or like yes. with sunglasses that are just coming off. There's always a prop to put somewhere. Mm -hmm. And he, when he comes on a set to, to block a scene and we're all already there, he kind of comes in and takes the sunglasses off, puts them on the table, and goes, oh, "What's going on? Tell me what's new. What's the news?" Uh, um, the first time I saw Ryan and Jessica see each other on set, I, the first thing that came to mind is one day they're gonna make a movie about Ryan and Jessica. Their relationship <laughs> is so spectacular and everything you expect it to be and more. Um, I was like, yep, they were both, it was like that. They were both like, the room was, and it was like so amazing to watch. It's like old Hollywood, but like much more queer. <laughs> <laughs> Me. Always, Laura. Yeah, I demanded everything. Such a nightmare. I don't really wanna talk about it. Just fresh grapes always, mm. flowers. Certain temperature, always, yeah, always in the room, no matter how cold we were. It doesn't, <laughs> Laura needs it to. No, no. No, this is gonna actually, <laughs> yeah, I know that's, that's gonna end. Really no. seriously. No, uh, no, it was a really fun, I don't know, the only like, it wasn't even a diva moment, it's just like an amazing moment that I remember from the last day of shooting when we were on the steps in New York and Ryan arrived, I mean, the moment. Oh my gosh, she had this fabulous coat and it's like scarf. Full length fur, fur, fur he came coat, huge sunglasses. It and it's just, and we all just applauded as he arrived mm -hmm. and he's... He's like this Armani coat. Oh, he's a, yeah. He's, cool. he's just a beautiful human. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Probably just how protective and maternal and uh, mm. like what a caretaker she was to me. She really kind of took me under her wing and, and saw that I was under a lot of pressure on the, on the show and really wanting, working very hard to make it great. And she just wanted to be as supportive and helpful as she could and make me feel very warm and connected with her. And I think that really comes across in our scenes together. And they were some of our, some of my favorite scenes in the show are mine with her because they were very, just calm and quiet and, and human. And a lot of the stuff in the show is very busy and heightened and sat satirical. And with me and Gwyneth, uh, all of our stuff was a lot more so sort of uh, lovely and calm. We never had any scenes with her. And so we never were there on the same day, but I had one moment with her in the elevator and she, I was with my puppy and she like bent down to pet my dog. And I had this perfect moment to be like, hi, I'm Laura, I work on the show with you. And I was so starstruck. I went, this is Banjo. <laughs> And that was our only interaction. <laughs> so, <good. laughs> so Yeah, I only met her on one of the press days and it was Yeah, she has this presence. It's her this, presence. Similarly yeah. as she does on screen, that magnetic presence. It is somewhat intimidating. Mm-hmm.